there is a war going on right now between Russia and Ukraine, which is involving almost the entire world. Those children who don't ask, don't ask. But those children who do want to talk about it and get nervous, anxiety, etc., etc., etc. Of course, there's a larger anxiety by people who have mishpacha in the Ukraine. In our office, there's a secretary, a very fine lady whose mother was trying to escape Kiev. And finally, the whole office was living with her because she was talking about her mother every single day. But how do we understand to teach to our children what's going on in the world today? Again, those kids who don't care and don't ask, no, no. But those who need to ask, I think it's an opportunity to show how we are different than the Umay Sa'ilam in the entire world. The danger of a war like this is numbers become nothing, thousands dying here, thousands dying here. People we must point out our children by us what it means one Jewish life. Rabbi Aaron Cutler used to say, when he made appeals to Varat Salah during the war, he used to say the same Gvarateri every week. I heard it from an old man who followed him around, Rabbi Aaron. He used to say, there's a Pasuk in Pashti Yisrael, even enough of men who rub, many might die. Enough of men who rub, many might die. So Rashi says, I feel echad men who nikar of even one Jew dies, it's a lot. What bothered Rashi? He should have said, enough lu, men who rub, many might die. Enough lu is, 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 is plural, not enough al. Rashi's trying to say by us, every single yid counts. No such thing as not a Jew. And that's the chilek of us, Umay I always wonder, why are we like that? And the world is not like that. Because we live and breathe tire every single day. That's what we have to explain to our children. By them, numbers mean nothing. People mean nothing. The presence here today, the Russians have a crematorium, I understand. On the war front, a Russian soldier dies into the crematorium, I guten tug, and it's over by us. The halachis ninyanim. One Jew, it means one single Jew. I remember when the little girl was missing and they brought a bus to Mir Yeshiva to pack up the buck from going to search for the little girl. Who's getting on the bus? Shul Birnbaum. The world class masmid is getting on the bus. Sure, one kid is missing. The Stolner Rebbe has not slept in the last week. He has a huge amount of Stolner Chassidim, Rabbi Bold, and his Chevre and Lvov. And suddenly, they're in trouble. I understand privately that he had to be Mechal Shabbos on the phone to, to find Mishunadika, Nisim, Glimdika ways of getting his people, his Chebra, out of, out of the area, out of Lvov, which was being leveled by the Russians. By us, Chil Shabbos, what it means, we tell us our children, Chil Shabbos, they're ice to the Chabkirat, but even a, even a tiny thing, even a Shvur said Rabbanon. He stole the Rebbe, had to be Mechal Shabbos. No, it was Mechal Shabbos, he was saving one Jew, and I one Jew, many Jews. What it means for us to have a Yid. Yed and Ephesh, called Mekayim Ephesh Achas in Israel. We are special, Kilo Kiem, Oyla Mole, and that's what our children have to hear what it means to be a Yid, what it means to be a person. Like the Chinuch says, we got to surround ourselves with Mitzvah Samais from Tavim, and we understand who we are and what we are and when we are. My Shvagar, Rabchaim Leib Epstein, Rabchaim Leib Epstein, there was a search once in the mountains for a boy. On Shabbos came the call, let's go, we got to find this kid. Rabchaim Epstein was getting into a car, I didn't let him. Shul Bear Mam, I started saying before. He's going on the bus. The Veltz Masvid is getting on the bus to go. We didn't let him go either. But that's what means one that fish be Israel. Didn't say wholesale. That's the danger of hearing all these achim. What it meant to Jew. What it means a yid. What it means a yid.